When we feel afraid that we might not have enough love to give, why don't we just first open our hearts, surrender to God's will, and truly believe that if He gives us these people to love, then He will provide for each and every one of them through you. As a mom, I have been incredibly challenged with the task of taking care and raising up my son. He is right now five years old, so he's really makulet. Uh, <laughs> but last November, actually, we had a miscarriage. So that was our second child. And today, we're pregnant again. So I'm with my third child. And you know, with all the fears that comes with motherhood, and just the worries that we have about the future of how we can really raise up our children fully equipped and ready to go out into the world. You know, God has been calling me and telling me, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to love. Don't be afraid to embrace them with everything that you have, to embrace all the pain and even the discomforts. And today, that is what I am praying for with God's grace that I can truly love all the children and even those not of my own, but those who need a hug, those who need some love, those who need to experience care, those who need to feel wanted. You know, I love the story of my son's really good friend. He's also a little boy and he was adopted by amazing parents who for years struggled to have their own child. But they opened their hearts up to God, they surrendered to God, and they welcomed into their home a beautiful baby boy. And today, he is really an incredible playmate. He's so kind and he's so generous to my son. You know, when we feel afraid that we might not have enough love to give, enough resources really, why don't we just first open our hearts, surrender to God's will, and truly believe that He is provider. That if He gives us these people to love, the people you already have around you, to care for and to love, then He will provide for each and every one of them through you. Brother and sister, don't be afraid to love. Mm -hmm.